Today we're going to be going over just the bottom portion of the pop-up palette right here. This is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory if you haven't tried it out already, but it's worth going over just in case you didn't know before. And I'm also going to be going over another feature as well. So first, this is the mirror tool. Obviously, you can't see anything really happening on my screen. So let me show you what that is. If you don't know already, that's okay. So I'm just going to make a box. And we're just going to give uh, let's see, thumbs up. And if I go to the pop-up palette and I hit this button here, move it over here, it will mirror it. It will just basically reverse the, the image. It's not a permanent reverse because if you can see, well, you can't see it too much here, but you can see that the drawing is still on the, the right-hand side of the canvas. And in an overview uh, docker, you can see that it's still on the right hand, which is, are two ways you can tell if your mirror is on or off. Now, the hotkey for that as well is M, and we're going to go over why it's important with the pop-up palette in just a minute. The next one is a canvas mode. As you can see, in canvas mode, I lose everything that I was going to be, that was basically around my canvas. My dockers, my tools, um, the color, which is why everything else is very important here. Because so now I can just go ahead and just use my tablet. I don't have to worry about using hotkeys. I can just keep going without any interruption. This is also important um, in case you aren't using a keyboard, like if you're using one of the, the tablet screens, maybe the keyboard is a little more awkward for you to use with that and you don't want to use it. I know people are, some people are left-handed, some are right-handed, so if you're left-handed that might actually um, be useful to use the mirror tool in the pop-up palette versus hitting the M key. So we're going to turn off canvas mode. Next one is the zoom. So if you click and drag, you can zoom in and out, which is the same um, as the zoom in the overview docker. And all the way over here, there's a little zoom icon in the bottom right hand corner of Krita. If you click on it, it should revert back to 100%. Yeah, so that's 100%. Just want to make sure I wasn't <laughs> zoomed in or out. And here it's about, what, 26? As you can see in the upper left hand here, all of this information is um, being displayed as well. So canvas mode, the mirror on, off. All right, so we'll go back around here. And the last uh, option in the bottom toolbar here for the pop-up palette is clear colors. When you click on it, you can see that all the colors that were once here are gone. So let's just go ahead and put a couple colors down. Doing great as always, picking the colors. And let's do some orange. All right, so as you can see, I have all the colors in the outer ring, as we learned a couple of videos back which are the history of the colors I have used so far. So let's say you finished one drawing and you're going to the next one and you don't want all these colors here, you can just go ahead and hit clear colors and they're gone. So you can start from scratch. It does not, however, affect the color history and your advanced color selector. That will still be there. So if you hit this button by accident in the pop-up palette, or let's say you didn't want, um, you only wanted the colors you were using recently. Let's say there's like five colors, or maybe even two, but you still want to retain the color history for like the tenth color or ten colors ago, whatever that color was. You wanted to use that again. It'll still be over here. And last but not least, this little guy up here, this little white dot. If you click and drag, you can go ahead and rotate your image instead of using the keyboard which is five and six. So six will rotate it uh, clockwise and four will rotate it counterclockwise. And if you wanna go back to no rotation, you can just click on the empty uh, circle here, click it once and it'll retain that. You can also change your rotation in the overview. So if you're not sure what the angle is or you forgot, you can always check in the overview docker about what the rotation angle is. And that is it for the extra features in the pop-up palette. There's one more video, which 
will be for more, I guess, people who are more comfortable with using the pop-up palette to do a little bit of custom work with it in the settings and create up. Otherwise, that's it for the pop-up palette for the major features of it and how to use it. Thank you guys for watching this series and watching this video. If you have any other questions, if there's something I didn't go over yet, make sure to, to leave a comment below and I'll try to get to it, either make a video on it or re respond to your comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.